Good morning, Tuesday morning, heading now to Tel Aviv to a new company you have never heard of called Sea Tree, as in see your trees. It's an ag tech company, aka agriculture tech, and uh, founded by a friend of mine, an old friend of mine, Barak Hamov, who I've known for probably a decade. Anyway, I'm going to the company, to the office today to spend some time and learn a little bit about this industry, which is one of the hottest industries, both in Israel and globally in the tech space, agriculture tech. So it's going to be mostly a day spent in their offices mostly me learning. Pretty excited about that, and it's a pretty interesting company and amazing founders. You'll get to meet them, hear a little bit about the industry, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy. Let's do this. fair share of impressive people on this video blog before. Like, some really impressive people. But then there's you. You're like a whole different level, all right? <laughs> Honestly, like a whole different level, all right? Now, here's the interesting thing. The interesting thing is I like to, for context, I like to start at the beginning. In your case, we're starting before the beginning because we have to start talking about your father. Before we start talking about where we are, who you are, what's this place, let's talk about your father. Okay, who is great. your father? What's your father's name? My father's name is Chovav Talpaz. Okay, which you've never heard that name, but no. millions, is it true to say millions of people in the agriculture space That's true. know that name? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, first of all, he's a kibbutznik. Okay. And afterwards, he, he's uh, an ag economic uh, expert, a professor in agriculture economics, a researcher in agriculture, and he's developed optimization capabilities for numerous fields in agriculture, known in the U.S., known in Israel, known all over. He's the Bill Gates of agriculture. Well, I'd say in, of optimization for, for agriculture, okay. that's true. So, as they say about the apple not falling far from the tree, yeah. Of course, you went into agriculture. But before we talk about that, and I'm, and I'm being very careful and we can always edit things out, is it fair to say, and this is the only thing I'm going to say, that unlike every other interview I've ever done on this entire vlog for the past 300 episodes, we can't actually talk about your experience. A bit of, of a is, is that problem. okay to say, though? Yeah, it's okay to say. It's a bit of a problem. How much of a hotshot is he? We can't even talk about his background. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, okay? Yeah. Are we yeah. let us say that? Yeah, you can okay, say Okay, beautiful. That. All right. Enough said is all I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so seed tree. Let's start with, and you guys have heard me talk about this probably now a thousand times, okay? And I've said this to you guys, and Barack is uh, sitting behind the camera. You can't see him, but he's the better looking guy of the couple. Um, <laughs> but Barack Ahamov, I talked about earlier today. We've known each other for many years, serial entrepreneur. He's gonna get on, on interview 2.0. But now, we, by the way, I just realized, I've been talking about you for like five minutes. I didn't even ask you your name. What's your name? Israel Talpaz. Israel Talpaz, okay. so. You've heard me say this a thousand times. Every one of the winners, every one of the winners in the tech space, in the business world, they all have one thing in common. You look at Uber, you look at Facebook, you look at WeWork, you look at Airbnb, they all have the same thing in common. They took a space, they took a world that always existed, they leveraged the use of technology and they disrupted it and they flipped it on its head and they revolutionized it. All big words that I hate when people, when marketers use, but in this case, it's true. Uber took transportation and said, no longer yellow cabs, we're gonna use technology, everybody. And by the way, not only did they disrupt it, but they democratized it. Anybody can now be a, you know, in a transportation facilitator, right? A driver, right? You look at communication. Once upon a time, you wanted to have influence, you needed a PhD in journalism, right? And you'd write for the New York Times, then people would listen. Today, Facebook says, write a little status update and you could influence millions of people, right? You look at Airbnb, hospitality, same story, and etc. and we work, etc. etc. There are some industries that need the disruption more than others. Yes, communication needed to be disrupted in transportation. It's true, it's all true. But there are some industries that are just, to say that they're ripe for disruption is like a huge understatement. They are begging to be disrupted. Agriculture is at the top of that list, along with, by the way, insurance and other industries. But agriculture as a whole, and there are many, many companies in the space, but as a whole, right now, today, farmers and, you know, the different, let's call it components of the agriculture ecosystem are somewhat behaving like it's 1970. Comes along Sea Tree. What is Sea Tree? What is the background? How did this come to be? And I know that this is a stealth company and you can't talk about everything. And I know that you have incredible news coming soon in terms of, again, I'm being careful and you tell me if you want me to edit this out, I, I can, in terms of who backed this company, who are your partners, who, incredible stuff coming for now. Whatever you can tell me, what is Citri? How did it come to be and, and what's going on in this place? Well, Citri is a company that wants to revolutionize farming for trees, permanent crop farming, meaning taking the tree world of, of farming 
and and bring it way up to uh, to nowadays digitizing it and enabling uh, the farmer to monitor and understand every single tree that he has and and optimize all of his really difficult uh, job uh, and and give him tools to uh, better uh, maximize his his production and his capabilities. Okay. Okay. So now let's let's dumb that down for us stupid people. Okay. These farmers, you know, if if I need oxygen, they need their trees. Right. It's their oxygen, right? right. It's their livelihood. It's everything. everything. Yeah, these guys have thousands sometimes. The, sometimes their more trees than are like their their children right. in a way. Right. Okay. Right. Hundred percent. And okay. and sometimes these farmers have thousands. Sometimes more than thousands Millions. of trees. Millions, Millions of trees. Okay. Now today, pre seed tree. What are they doing to know if, for example, you told me about you know, the bacteria, right? Yep. Tell me a little bit about that. If they, you'll tell me about that in a second, but if yep. a very uh, violent bacteria attacks their trees, how do they know, will they know, and if yes, how do they monitor it? And, and tell me a little bit about that specific bacteria and just in general, the threats that these trees face. Farmers today, as they did in the past, have to rely on their eyes and their feet to, to see uh, what they can see in their in their groves and if they don't see that and if they don't they're not able to get there then they just won't find out what's happening there right okay and and technology hasn't given them the tools up till now to enable them to cover all of their trees and and in a really accurate and efficient way okay so so if they have for instance a bacteria that that affects their trees like in citrus citrus greening HLB, uh, this bacteria can uh, wipe, really out. wipe out yeah. their whole farm. In, okay. Like in in it takes some time, but in months and years, it can wipe out the whole farm. Which is which is their life basically. It's They're their done. life because uh, replacing a tree is really difficult. It takes five years to to get the new replacement to start producing. So. And it's it not, spreads, right? In other words, if it attacks spreads, one tree, it spreads. It's contagious. We're talking it like spreads. the HIV of trees. HIV, uh, you can call it, some call it like a cancer of trees. But cancer is not contagious. This is contagious. That's right. This is contagious. That's right. That's why I said yeah. HIV. But, but yeah, it's HIV. No cure. Wow. Up till today. Okay, so and I have a very simple question for you. I mean, this is... This kind of sounds like, like, how are you guys doing? I mean, how did no one else think of this? I mean, okay, you say technology hasn't facilitated, hasn't enabled them to see that the health of their, why not? I mean, look at this thing right here. You know, this is megapixels that I can, you know, capture and, you know, look at these new phones and the technology we have, the optics, the lenses, I'm, I'm going to say the D word, the drones, obviously, we'll talk about that in a second, but like the capabilities are there. So how has no one else figured this out yet? Well, you need, it, it's, first of all, it's a really complex problem. Right. Okay. Right. And you need to bring into uh, uh, this world combination of different capabilities. It's not just drones by themselves are not enough. Right. Cameras are not enough. Ground sensors are not enough. People are not enough. You need a combination of uh -huh. all of these. Interesting point. Uh, built as a campaign directed for these trees to enable a good enough and really an accurate and, and a valuable uh, product to, to help the farmer move ahead. I want to emphasize one of the things you said that I think is fascinating. And it, obviously, it's very much a core kind of pillar of this company, which is the combination of incredibly advanced you know, cutting edge technology with the support of human interaction. Yes. Now, first of all, in terms of the challenges, I mean, yes, you can capture that data, but you still need to analyze that data. Right. An incredible amount of data, right? Right. That's one. And the second thing is at the end of the day, you know, as we, we talked about earlier today, you need boots on the ground, right? You cannot only use technology. Right. By the way, and that's something I'm hearing a lot. We talk, everyone talks about, you know, is artificial intelligence going to kill, you know, hum you need, at the end of the day, at least today, you still need human, you know, involvement in many of these processes. At the, you know, yesterday I was talking to a company that does background checks. The AI, the algorithms can only get you a certain point. You still need analysts, right? And here's the same thing. You have your professionals on the ground, but instead of going tree by tree, you're using drones, right. using cameras. Right. using the optics, you're gathering that information, you're using machine learning and big data to analyze and you know, extract the most important information. Okay. And here's the kicker, because you're, the amount of information that you're kind of um, extracting or consuming mm -hmm. as, in terms of your tech is endless. You need to then display that information to right. the farmer. Right. Now, if a farmer's not interested in looking at some you know, very advanced you know, pie charts, you give them a dashboard. Right. So that's the trick here. 
there are a lot of tricks here right. but but all of these have to be combined together and you know a farmer has a really difficult job it's a full-time job right. from from before sunrise and after way after sunset so he can't he can't return home and start working on graphs and right. and get inputs and start trying to analyzing them and do all of the analytics here we need to be able to do the analytics right. crunch the numbers crunch the numbers process it package it for them so they can see in a glimpse right. in in seconds understand exactly where their problems are what they need to do uh, prioritize everything actionable very actionable very precise and and so they can love it do it the next day and I'm just gonna give an analogy because I spoke about it before take uber right if if Uber had said to, you know, Hillel, okay, you have a car, go be a driver, but you need to manage the entire back end of what a taxi driver used to do, then I would have been like, get out of my face, I'm not interested. But Uber says, no, 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 we'll give you the entire infrastructure. Get in your car and drive, right? Right. C Tree is doing that. You're yes. Uberizing the farming world. Well, that's a, oh, yep, that's a, that's a good that's a good analogy, yes. Okay, so like I said, you guys are stealth, you're not launched yet. I'm not gonna drive you to any website. It's early. But in the next couple of months, let's call it to a half a year, whoever you are and wherever you are in the world, you're going to be hearing about C-Tree, not only because of what the product is doing in the vision and the mission of this company, but because of the partners, the scale of the partners, uh, and the backers of this company, which are just, by the way, both in terms of quantity, in terms of money, but also in terms of quality. Incredible people back in this company. Right. And uh, yeah, I mean, bottom line is I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thankful to Barack, who's not in this interview right now, who will be next time for introducing us, because I'm learning a ton. I know nothing about, knew nothing, and now I'm a little bit, a little bit knowledgeable but I'm, I'm you know a fraction but uh, I'm looking forward to uh, you know helping in any way I can and uh, I'm watching this company explode thank you very much good luck really with everything appreciate so, thank it. you so really much man thanks it, man. first video interview too All right <laughs> honestly I spent the entire day at Sea Tree there was nothing for me to record because I was just literally sitting down doing work the incre the amount of productivity the amount of just, oh man, the amount of work we got done today was just outstanding. Without disclosing too much information for now, all I'll say is I love this company, Seatree, and you'll be hearing a lot more about them in the near future. And on that note, see you tomorrow.